embarking on a journey into the heart of classic television, one can uncover a treasure trove of stories and moments that have captivated audiences for decades. This particular series, set against the rugged backdrop of the Old West, offers a compelling narrative filled with humor, surprises, and heartfelt emotions. As viewers delve into the show, they find themselves drawn in by its timeless appeal, pondering what makes it such a beloved classic. Amidst the captivating characters and engaging plotlines lies a wealth of lesser-known facts and anecdotes that add an extra layer of fascination to the experience. Exploring the behind-the-scenes gems of this TV series reveals a deeper understanding of its enduring charm and cultural significance. As viewers continue to watch, they carry with them not just memories of the characters and stories, but also their own personal experiences and connections to the show. Whether it's a funny moment that brings a smile, a shocking twist that leaves them reeling, or a poignant scene that tugs at their heartstrings, these moments become cherished parts of their television journey. There's always more to uncover about this beloved series, from fascinating trivia to hidden details waiting to be discovered. So let's come together to celebrate the enduring magic of this timeless classic, sharing our stories and memories along the way. As someone fondly remembers their favorite childhood TV Western, they praise the Virginian for being better than other Westerns from the 70s. They like the actors, the way the show looks, and how the stories feel real and tough. They really like how the main characters, the Virginian and Trampas, interact. They wish the whole series, including the men from Shiloh, could be bought on DVD. Another person talks about the show, feeling sad that it's not as well known as other shows, even though the acting is heartfelt and the show has been around for a long time. They mention how cool it is to see famous actors show up on the show and say they like the Virginian more than other westerns like Bonanza. Stuart Granger was honored with a day celebrating his film work in August 2018 as part of TCM Summer Under the Stars. James Drury and Doug McClure appeared in all 249 episodes of the series. They were the only two who came close to being in every episode. Charles Bickford is among eight actors nominated for an Oscar for playing a priest in a film alongside Spencer Tracy. Bing Crosby, Barry Fitzgerald, Gregory Peck, Carl Malden, Jason Miller, and Philip Seymour Hoffman. Tracy, Crosby, and Fitzgerald won Oscars for their performances. In a captivating twist of fate, the talented individuals involved in a beloved series from yesteryears showcase their diverse abilities beyond the screen. One key figure marked her place in music history with the recording of Let There Be Peace on Earth, while another faced a perilous health scare during filming. Their journeys post-series unveil, the varying paths actors may tread after departing from such prominent projects. These anecdotes illuminate the unique dimensions each contributor brought to their careers and the show they were part of. James Drury began his career with bit parts in films before landing the title role in The Virginian. Alongside him, Gary Clark made appearances at events like the Western Film Fair in 23, where he reunited with his former co-stars from the show. Despite Drury and Doug McClure's presence throughout the series, they couldn't appear in every one of the 249 episodes. Nestled in Wyoming lies a town called Medicine Bow, where the Shiloh Ranch stands tall. Back in the 60s, this ranch was more than just a backdrop. It was where stories came to life, filled with talented actors. One interesting thing about Charles Bickford, a seasoned actor, is that whenever he got nominated for an award, his co-star ended up winning. It happened with Jennifer Jones, Loretta Young, and Jane Wyman. Fast forward a bit, and we find Lee Majors, another talented actor, sharing about his time working with Barbara Stanwyck. He talked about how great it was to work with her, praising her professionalism. So, whether it was the seasoned actors like Bickford or the newcomers like Majors, the Shiloh Ranch was a place where stories unfolded both on and off screen. Ross Elliott known for his association with actor William Allen from their Mercury Players days, appeared in several of Allen's movies, including Tarantula and As Young As We Are. LQ. Jones, who previously played a sidekick in Cheyenne, was dropped after three episodes, leaving Clint Walker to lead the show solo. Stuart Granger, famed for his fencing skills showcased in The Prisoner of Zenda, and Scaramouch took his training seriously, even learning from a retired Olympic champion and wearing out numerous pairs of fencing shoes during practice. Granger's dedication to fencing earned him the title of swashbuckler on the cover of Life magazine. Amidst the vastness of Hollywood's history lie tales of individuals whose love for their work left a lasting impression on the world of entertainment. Let's delve into the journeys of James Drury and Charles Bickford, two figures whose dedication to their craft continues to inspire audiences today. 
Born and raised in different places, they found their passion in acting and left behind stories that still captivate us. Drury, hailing from New York City, but finding solace in the rustic beauty of an Oregon ranch, developed a deep connection with horses influenced by his upbringing. Bickford, on the other hand, made his mark in Hollywood, starring in several acclaimed films that showcased his talent and dedication to his craft. Though their paths diverged, their shared love for acting brought them together in the annals of Hollywood history. Their stories remind us of the magic of storytelling and the resilience needed to succeed in the world of entertainment. As we reflect on their lives, we honor their memory and the impact they've had on cinema. In the history of TV, something groundbreaking happened when the first 90-minute cowboy show aired. A future big shot in Hollywood, Harrison Ford, starred in two episodes, leaving a big impression. Another famous actor, Lee J. Cobb, known for his roles in many movies up for Best Picture at the Oscars, also showed off his talent, making a lasting mark in the cowboy genre. This show didn't just entertain folks with its exciting stories, but also helped new talents get noticed. It changed how people told stories and made characters in cowboy shows. Even now, it still inspires viewers and movie makers, proving that good stories on TV never get old. With the most 90-minute episodes of any television series, it's unlikely any other show can even come close. In two episodes of this series, a future Hollywood Lister made appearances. Lee J. Cobb, a good friend with screenwriter Alva Bessie, had their friendship severed over a $500 loan refusal in the late 1940s. Bessie, a Communist Party member and one of the Hollywood Ten, faced financial ruin due to legal fees linked to his appeals against a contempt citation from the House on American Activities Commission. Despite this, Cobb later showed support for the Hollywood Ten during their trials in Washington, D.C. He also testified before HUAC, revealing names of former communists and leftists from his group theater days in New York in the 1930s. In the world of classic TV, there was a show known for its fantastic cast with different skills. One actor, famous for various movie roles, joined with a great harmonica player. Another actor had a tough time with the long episodes but kept at it. He really got into his character, making each scene deeper with his acting. The harmonica player, famous for his music, added emotion with his tunes, making the show more enjoyable for audiences everywhere. With the help of a dedicated production team, they made The Virginian a timeless favorite that people still love today. This shows how storytelling and teamwork can make something really special. Stuart Granger took violin lessons from David McCallum's father to prepare for his role in The Magic Bow. This added authenticity to his performance in the series. Doug McClure, who portrayed a role in the series, played the Errol Flynn character in a 1967 remake of Against All Flags titled The King's Pirate. Notably, both Flynn and McClure faced premature deaths, with Flynn passing away at 50 and McClure at 59. Lee Majors, another figure in the series, had a notable high school athletic career. Middlesbrough High School honored him by naming their football field after him in 1986. Furthermore, he was inducted into the school's Sports Hall of Fame in 1991. These actors brought their unique experiences and talents to the Virginian, contributing to the series' success. In the world of cinema, connections often pave the way for remarkable opportunities. For instance, a recommendation from a friend led to Moira Shearer's casting in a classic film. Meanwhile, another actor's departure from a popular TV show left him facing a dry spell in his career until a replacement stepped in to fill the role for years to come. These instances underscore the importance of networking and adaptation in the entertainment industry. Doug McClure is widely remembered for his portrayal of Trampas in the series. He brought charisma and depth to the character, endearing himself to audiences across the nation. Betsy, Judge Henry Garth's daughter, was revealed to be adopted in Season 1, Episode 2. This revelation added a layer of complexity to her character as she navigated the challenges of identity and belonging. Ross Elliott, known for roles in films like The Burning Cross and Storm Warning, also made appearances in the series. His presence added a touch of seasoned wisdom to the cast, enriching the dynamics of each episode. The Virginian, with its compelling characters and gripping storylines, captivated viewers week after week, solidifying its place in television history as a classic Western drama. In a timeless TV series, the main character's name remains a mystery, adding an air of mystique to his persona. Throughout the show, he's known by various titles like the foreman or simply referred to as him. Drawing inspiration from a character on The Simpsons, one of the actors found a connection, adding depth to his portrayal. This insight into the actor's creative process fascinated his children, who enjoyed seeing how their father's work intertwined with a beloved animated character. 
One of the actors recognized for her singing talent had a remarkable background in music. Collaborating with famous names and recording albums with her co-star from the show, she showcased not only her singing, but also songs from the series. This musical connection enriched the audience's experience, strengthening their bond with the show through familiar tunes. The mysterious nature of the main character added an extra layer of intrigue, keeping viewers engaged in his journey. Despite the lack of a concrete name, his presence resonated deeply with audiences, becoming a central figure in the world of Western television. The show's lasting appeal is a testament to the talent of its cast and crew, ensuring its place in television history. Lee Majors served as a source of inspiration for the 1973 song Midnight Train to Georgia due to his relationship with Farrah Fawcett. Despite the show's 249 episode run, James Drury couldn't appear in every episode alongside Doug McClure due to the show's 90 minute format. However, McClure and Drury managed to be the closest to appearing in every episode, making significant contributions to the series. Clue Gilliger was Earl Hamner Jr.'s initial choice for the male lead role in Falcon Crest. He appeared in the unaired pilot episode The Vintage Years, but was not rehired. Robert Foxworth took over the lead male role of Chase Gioberti until his departure at the end of season 6 in 1987. Lee Majors, known for his role as Heath Barkley in The Big Valley, had a signature exclamation as Boy Howdy. Ross Elliott, who began his acting career with Orson Welles' Mercury Theatre, performed in Welles' famed radio program War of the Worlds. In the journey of TV shows, actors sometimes pass on their roles to new faces, bringing a fresh vibe to the screen. For instance, after leaving a series, Gary Clark helped out in Get Smart by introducing Jaime the Robot. Similarly, Lee J. Cobb's characters were taken over by George C. Scott in different instances like Lieutenant Kinderman and The Exorcist. Cobb played Juror 3 in Twelve Angry Men, a role later played by Scott in a TV remake. The Virginian aired on NBC every Wednesday evening. Scott's portrayal of characters previously played by Cobb gave a new angle to the stories, showing his versatility as an actor. Even with these changes, fans kept tuning in to see how their favorite characters evolved and the stories unfolded. The story of the Virginian, in its original form and through later versions, shows how much people still love Western dramas on TV. This timeless quality of storytelling and the memorable performances by the cast have left a mark in television history. In the world of television shows, sometimes actors have to step into each other's roles. Myron Healy filled in for Douglas Fowley as Doc Holliday temporarily, and he did a great job bringing lots of energy to the character. Fans and critics loved what he did. Gary Clark wrote a book called Wild Wild Westerners where he talks about his experiences working on TV shows, giving readers a peek behind the scenes. James Drury went to some Western film fairs in 1997 and 2003. In 2003, he got to hang out with old castmates like Gary Clark, Randy Boone, and Roberta Shore. They all had a great time together, remembering the fun they had on set. This just shows how much people still love the show, both the actors and the fans. Doug McClure, alongside Troy Donahue, served as the inspiration for the character Troy McClure on The Simpsons. Lee Majors, known for his roles in various television series, including The Virginian, first acted with Lindsay Wagner when she guest starred on his show Owen Marshall, Counselor at Law. Later, she joined him on The Six Million Dollar Man, where she originated her best-known role as the bionic woman. Majors notably starred concurrently on two television series, playing Jess Brandon on Owen Marshall, Counselor at Law, and Colonel Steve Austin on The Six Million Dollar Man. Despite the demands of both roles, Majors maintained a successful career, frequently collaborating with Wagner and appearing together at bionic conventions. In one episode of the series, Myron Healy inflicts 20 lashes on Robert Horton's character with a bullet. This memorable scene aired on December 13th. Lee Majors, known for his role in the Big Valley, endured three separate whippings in different episodes. Stuart Granger, who served in the Black Watch, held the rank of second lieutenant upon his demobilization. These instances showcase the physical challenges faced by characters in the series, adding depth to their portrayals and highlighting the harsh realities of the time. In the world of acting, there are some interesting stories that show the strong bonds formed between actors. One such example is how Lee J. Cobb got a special role just for him by Arthur Miller, the person who wrote the play. Another story involves Lee Majors, who became famous for his roles in popular TV shows. Then there's James Drury, who became friends with James Best after they met on a movie set back in 1956. They even worked together on a TV show later on. Their friendship lasted until Best passed away in 2015. 
These tales highlight the connections that actors can make with each other over time, showing how the entertainment industry brings people together. James Drury, known for his role in the 1962 TV series The Virginian, found unexpected fame in Finland, likened to that of Elvis Presley and Frank Sinatra in the US. Steve's last name, portrayed by Gary Clark in the show, varied from Hill to Andrews across different adaptations. In the original Owen Wister novel and early film productions, Steve's surname remains undisclosed. The series is set in Medicine Bow, Wyoming, situated in Carbon County, with a late winter 90s population of approximately 9,000 residents. Lee Majors, known for his role as Joe Buck in Midnight Cowboy, was once considered for a role in the series. However, due to contractual obligations with the Big Valley, he had to pass on the opportunity, which eventually went to John Voight. Roberta Shore, who appeared in The Virginian, reunited with her co-stars James Drury, Gary Clark, and Randy Boone at the Western Film Fair in Charlotte, North Carolina in 2003. She had previously attended the event in 1996. In the end credits of the series, unnamed extras were credited with titles such as the man, the wife, the young girl, the bartender, the bar girl, the lawyer, or the bank teller, following a similar format to the title of the show. In the story, the ranch, known as Sunk Creek, lies 270 miles from Medicine Bow. When he's promoted, he moves to his own house on the ranch. He and Trampas aren't friends. In fact, the Virginian ends up killing Trampas near the tail's end. Stuart Granger rose to fame in England after his role in The Man in Grey in 1943. Lee J. Cobb is featured in Karen Burroughs' Hansberry's Bad Boys, the actors of film noir. In the world of television, there was a series that went through a significant change in its final season. This change not only included a new title, but also brought a different style to the show. It introduced viewers to an Italian Western inspired opening credit sequence, which was quite special. What made it even more remarkable was the music accompanying it. Ennio Morricone, a well-known composer, crafted a unique theme specifically for the series. This theme added a whole new dimension to the show, giving it a captivating atmosphere. Combined with the presence of actor Clue Gulliger, who played a notable role in the series, and the overall evolution of the show, this created a truly unforgettable experience for audiences. It's moments like these that truly leave a mark in the history of television. In the early years of a famous TV series from 1962, something sad happened that really affected everyone involved. One of the main actors, Lee J. Cobb, who played Judge Henry Garth, unexpectedly left the show after the first season. This left a big hole in the series, and they had to make some changes to try to fill it. After Cobb left, the people making the show had to figure out how to make things work without him. Losing such an important character changed how the story went and made the show feel different. His sudden departure was shocking and made everyone feel sad, which definitely came across in the show. To deal with this unexpected change, they had to bring in new characters to take the place of Cobb's character. It wasn't easy, and viewers noticed that things were different. The show had to adapt, but it still managed to keep people interested with its changing storyline. This event shows how tough it can be for long-running TV shows when unexpected things happen. Even though it was hard, the show kept going and still entertained people with its new direction. The Virginian series of 1962 holds a tragic trivia fact. One of the early actors, Doug McClure, who portrayed the character Trampas, battled with alcoholism during his time on the show. His struggle with addiction sadly affected his performance and personal life, eventually leading to his departure from the series. Despite the popularity of The Virginian, the production faced challenges behind the scenes. Doug McClure's battle with alcoholism cast a shadow over the set, impacting both his portrayal of Trampas and the overall atmosphere of the show. His departure from the series left a noticeable gap in the cast and marked a somber moment in the show's history. Despite the challenges faced by the cast and crew, The Virginian continued to captivate audiences with its compelling storytelling and memorable characters. The show's legacy endures, reminding viewers of the highs and lows of both the characters on screen and the actors behind them. In a notable episode, a key character tragically passes away during a filming accident, casting a solemn mood over the set. The incident deeply affected everyone involved. The show was known for its exploration of tough decisions faced by characters in the Old West. It tackled themes like loyalty, fairness, and personal values, offering viewers stories that made them think. Throughout its airing, it boasted a varied cast, each with their own challenges and dramas. From the main character, a dependable ranch foreman, to the mysterious Trampas, the series delved into human feelings and relationships against a frontier backdrop. 
The shows impact lives on as a reminder of the lasting appeal of Western tales and the timeless issues they raise. Even though it went off the air in the 1970s, fans still cherish it for its gripping stories and unforgettable characters. In a poignant moment of the series, one of its beloved characters experiences a heartbreaking loss when his cherished horse meets a tragic end. This emotional scene deeply resonated with viewers, showcasing the show's ability to tackle tough themes. Throughout its episodes, the show explored life on the frontier, depicting the challenges its characters faced with authenticity. Whether it was grappling with issues of justice, loyalty, or personal sacrifice, the series fearlessly delved into the harsh realities of the Old West. Despite its moments of sadness, the show also depicted moments of hope and camaraderie among its characters. The bonds they formed, forged through shared experiences and hardships, added richness to the narrative. Despite facing cancellation initially, the series persevered and became one of the longest-running westerns in TV history. Its lasting impact continues to engage audiences, proving that great storytelling can withstand the test of time. Amidst the dusty landscapes of the Old West, a beloved character met an unexpected fate, leaving fans grieving over his untimely demise. Set at the Shiloh Ranch, the TV show depicted the trials and adventures of those who called it home. Its raw portrayal of life on the frontier captured the hearts of viewers nationwide. Throughout its airing, the series delved into themes of loyalty, justice, and the complexities of human connection. The chemistry among the cast, led by James Drury in the lead role, added layers to the storytelling, keeping audiences deeply engaged. Despite its end in 1971, the show continues to hold a significant place in television history, cherished for its impactful storytelling and unforgettable characters. In a sad turn of events, during the making of a famous TV series from 1962, actor Doug McClure's wife, Faye Brash, passed away. This deeply affected McClure and the team working on the show. Despite the show being very popular, this sad event reminds us of the personal hardships faced in making entertainment. It shows the tough side of working in TV, beyond just the fun and excitement of making shows. The show will always be remembered not just for its great stories and characters, but also for the personal struggles that sometimes happen behind the scenes. In the wild setting of the American West, a beloved TV show captured the hearts of many with its gripping tales of ranch life and the struggles faced by those who called it home. Throughout its run, the series delved into themes of loyalty, betrayal, and the harsh realities of life on the frontier. It became a staple of television in the early 1960s, drawing viewers with its compelling characters and dramatic storylines. One episode left fans reeling from a shocking twist as a cherished character met their demise, sending waves of disbelief through the audience. Despite tackling tough subjects like race, class, and morality, the show pushed boundaries and earned acclaim for its bold storytelling. After nine seasons, the show faced cancellation, leaving its dedicated fan base disappointed. However, its episodes continued to air in reruns, leaving an indelible mark on television history. In a memorable moment from the 1962 TV series, audiences were stunned by a sad event. The character Steve Hill, played by Gary Clark, met a tragic end during the show's third season. Steve's departure left fans shocked because he was a much-loved character on the ranch. The story took a sad turn when Steve, a character known for his strength and friendship, faced a sudden tragedy in the rugged frontier life. Steve's unexpected exit from the series left a strong impression on viewers, showing the tough realities of living in the Wild West. As the show went on, Steve's absence reminded everyone how fragile life could be in those rough landscapes. This surprising twist added depth to the story, leaving a lasting emotional impact on the following seasons. The Virginian was known for its honest portrayal of frontier life, not avoiding the tough challenges its characters faced. Steve Hill's departure showed the show's dedication to realism, depicting the hardships and sorrows of those trying to conquer the Wild West. Did you know that during its run, the Virginian experienced a tragic loss? In one episode, actor Doug McClure's horse stumbled and fell on him, resulting in a broken pelvis. Despite the injury, McClure insisted on completing the scene before seeking medical attention, showcasing his dedication to the show. This incident stands as a somber reminder of the risks involved in filming, even in seemingly routine situations. Did you ever hear about that heart-wrenching moment when one of the beloved characters from a certain TV show lost his cherished mare in a terrible accident? It's just one of the many emotional twists that kept viewers glued to the screen during this iconic series set in the Old West. This show was known for its authentic portrayal of life back in those rugged times. From the detailed sets to the realistic costumes, everything transported audiences to the frontier. 
The characters faced all sorts of challenges, from run-ins with outlaws to personal tragedies. But no matter what happened, they always showed resilience and stayed true to their values. The main character, a stoic figure respected by everyone, led the way with his integrity and leadership. He was the backbone of the community, guiding them through thick and thin. As the series went on, viewers couldn't help but get caught up in the lives of these characters, eagerly anticipating each new episode. Even though the show ended years ago, its impact still lingers. Thanks to reruns and DVDs, new generations can experience the excitement of frontier life. Amidst the making of a popular TV show set in the Old West, tragedy struck unexpectedly. A lead actor, known for his role as Trampas, faced immense sorrow when his wife passed away tragically during childbirth. This heartbreaking incident cast a shadow over the entire cast and crew, leaving them in a state of grief. The show itself, renowned for its captivating Western storyline, explored themes of loyalty, justice, and the complexities of human nature. Set against the backdrop of rugged landscapes, it followed the adventures of the main character, a foreman, as he navigated life on the frontier. Over the span of nine seasons, the TV series held audiences spellbound with its compelling narrative and unforgettable characters. Its influence stretched beyond mere entertainment, shaping subsequent Western dramas and leaving an indelible mark on the genre. In a dramatic twist, a beloved character in the series meets a sudden and heartbreaking end, leaving viewers stunned by the unexpected turn of events. The emotional shockwave of this moment ripples through the story, serving as a poignant reminder of life's unpredictability. The show captures the harsh realities of life on the frontier, depicting challenges like cattle theft and land disputes with raw authenticity. It paints a gritty picture of the Old West, pulling no punches in its portrayal of the struggles faced by ranchers. Throughout its episodes, the series bravely tackles sensitive issues such as racism, sparking important discussions about prejudice. In a time of social change, it confronts these topics head on, prompting viewers to reflect on their own biases. Despite its serious themes, the show strikes a balance with moments of humor and levity. Whether through witty banter or the antics of ranch hands, it knows how to lighten the mood without losing its dramatic core. Over time, the series leaves a lasting impression on television history, influencing future westerns and countless other shows in the genre. Its impact continues to resonate with audiences today, reminding us of the enduring appeal of stories set against the backdrop of the American frontier. Did you know that during the making of a certain TV show set in the American West, one of its original cast members faced a heartbreaking tragedy? This incident deeply affected everyone involved, casting a somber mood over the set for a while. Despite this immense loss, the actor continued with his role, showing incredible strength and commitment to his work. As for the show itself, it broke new ground in how it depicted life on the frontier, offering a more nuanced perspective than other westerns of its time. With a talented ensemble cast and captivating storylines, the series captured the hearts of viewers for years. Throughout its run, the show explored various themes from justice and morality to the bonds of friendship and loyalty. Its portrayal of characters and their struggles in morally gray situations made it stand out, earning praise from critics and building a devoted fan base. Despite facing challenges such as cast changes and scheduling issues, the show persisted, leaving a lasting mark on television history and inspiring future storytellers. In the early days of a popular TV show, a sad event deeply affected one of its main actors. During production, the actor faced personal tragedy when his wife passed away from lung cancer. This loss cast a shadow over him, affecting both his personal life and his work on the series. Despite these challenges, he remained dedicated to his role, showing resilience in the face of sorrow. His commitment to his work never faltered, which was inspiring to those around him. The cast and crew supported him during this difficult time, creating a positive environment. This part of the show's history reminds us of the real-life struggles that can happen in the entertainment industry. It shows how the people involved can overcome personal hardships. Even though the show was set in the Old West, it reflected the challenges of real life, portraying the strength of its actors facing tough times. Throughout his personal tragedy, his dedication to the show stayed strong, showing how life events can affect the making of a TV series. The show highlighted the resilience of its actors despite the difficulties they faced. Amidst the drama of the series, an unexpected event deeply affected those involved. During the filming of its sixth season, tragedy struck when one of the actors passed away. This loss left the cast and crew grieving, but despite the sadness, the show continued on, honoring the memory of their colleague. 
Set against the backdrop of Wyoming's vast landscapes, the TV series showcased the challenges and triumphs of life in the American West. From conflicts with rustlers to personal struggles, it explored a variety of themes that resonated with audiences nationwide. With a talented ensemble cast, including James Drury and Lee J. Cobb, the performances breathed life into the characters, drawing viewers into their world. As the show continued to captivate audiences, it left a lasting mark on the Western genre, inspiring future filmmakers and television creators. The enduring popularity of the show is evident in the continued appreciation for its timeless characters and compelling stories. In one episode of the show, something really surprising happened that shocked viewers. A main character unexpectedly died, which left everyone watching feeling really sad and shocked. This sad event changed the story a lot and made everyone feel very emotional. The show talked about a lot of different things like being loyal to your friends when someone betrays you and the fight between good and bad. The characters had to deal with difficult choices and problems which made the story interesting and kept people interested. Even though there were sad parts, there were also happy moments in the show. The friendships between the characters made people feel hopeful and happy even when things were tough. Overall, the 1962 show was really good because of its interesting story, memorable characters, and the way it talked about important things. It's a show that people still enjoy watching today. Amidst the success of a popular TV series from the 60s, one of its main actors faced a devastating personal struggle. During production, he tragically lost his wife to cancer, which cast a dark shadow over the show set. Despite this immense grief, he continued to fulfill his role, showing incredible strength and dedication. The resilience displayed by him and the rest of the cast and crew during this difficult time is truly commendable. Their ability to persevere through such hardship while still delivering captivating episodes speaks volumes about their professionalism and commitment. This real-life tragedy behind the scenes adds a poignant layer to the show, reflecting the harsh realities of life even amidst a fictional Old West setting. His determination to carry on despite his personal loss serves as a powerful example of human strength and resilience. In the end, their collective effort helped shape the series into a significant piece of television history. In one episode of the TV series, a tragic incident occurred when a beloved character unexpectedly died, leaving viewers shocked and saddened. The character's demise deeply affected the storyline and the other characters' lives, showcasing the emotional depth of the show's narrative. As for the series itself, it depicted life in the Old West with a focus on the daily struggles and conflicts faced by the characters. Set against the backdrop of a remote ranch, it explored themes of loyalty, justice, and morality. The Virginian, a strong and principled protagonist, often found himself embroiled in various dilemmas that tested his resolve and integrity. Throughout its run, the series captivated audiences with its authentic portrayal of frontier life and its compelling storytelling. Its ensemble cast delivered powerful performances that brought the characters to life, making it a memorable and enduring classic in television history. In its run, the Virginian witnessed a shocking tragedy. One of the original cast members, Doug McClure, who played Trampus, faced a devastating personal loss during the series. In 1963, McClure's wife at the time, Faye Brash, tragically passed away from cancer. The cast and crew were deeply affected by this event, highlighting the real-life struggles that could touch even those involved in the making of the show. The Virginians production team faced a challenging situation during the filming of its second season. Tragedy struck with the sudden demise of executive producer Roy Huggins' wife, Adele Mara. Despite this personal loss, the team continued to work on the series, showcasing a remarkable level of dedication and professionalism. Navigating through these difficult times, the cast and crew of the Virginian demonstrated resilience and commitment to their craft, delivering a series that became a significant part of television history. In one episode, a main character accidentally shoots his friend, leading to a shocking and sad twist. This event affects how the story unfolds, surprising viewers and making them feel deeply for the characters. The show also explores themes like friendship, justice, and tough choices which people could relate to. Despite the sad parts, there are also moments of friendship and strength among the characters, showing how they support each other in tough times. Overall, the show sticks with people because of its engaging stories and characters, making it a classic on TV. In the making of a well-known show, something sad happened. One of the experienced actors unexpectedly passed away while they were filming. It was a really tough time for everyone involved in the show. People were sad and mourning the loss of their friend and colleague. This sad event reminded everyone that life is fragile, even when you're busy working on something. 
but despite the sadness, the show continued. It showed how strong and determined the people making it were. It's a reminder that even in tough times, people can keep going. Amidst the captivating allure of the Old West, tragedy struck during the filming of a beloved TV show. A seasoned stuntman lost his life attempting a perilous horseback maneuver, casting a somber shadow over the production. Despite facing numerous challenges behind the scenes, the team persevered, delivering memorable episodes that resonated with audiences. The show delved into social issues of the time, sparking meaningful conversations and broadening viewers' perspectives. Although it eventually concluded, its influence persists, inspiring future generations of storytellers. The TV show may have ridden off into the sunset, but its storytelling prowess lives on, reminding us of the enduring power of compelling narratives. In a startling turn of events, a lead actor faced a near-fatal injury after being accidentally shot during filming, causing significant production delays and raising concerns about safety on set. The television series, spanning nine seasons, was among the longest-running Western dramas, leaving a lasting impression on the genre. Its success paved the way for similar shows, firmly establishing its position in television history. Throughout its airing, the show delved into themes of right and wrong, fairness, and staying true to one's beliefs against the backdrop of the Old West. With a diverse cast and captivating storylines, it garnered both audience praise and critical acclaim. Despite its popularity, the production encountered challenges, including conflicts among the cast and technical issues. Nevertheless, the show's commitment to delivering compelling narratives ensured its enduring appeal. Sadly, after nine seasons, the show concluded, leaving fans grieving over the departure of beloved characters. Its enduring presence is preserved through reruns and DVD collections, maintaining its significance in television history. Did you hear about that incident during the making of the TV series set in the Old West? One of the main actors got seriously hurt doing a stunt, and it put the whole production on hold for weeks. The show followed the life of a ranch foreman at Shiloh Ranch, and was known for its realistic portrayal of ranching challenges and life out on the frontier. It lasted nine seasons, which is a pretty long time for a Western series on TV. Throughout its run, the show tackled big social issues like racism, sexism, and classism, which was pretty unusual for shows of that time. Despite facing some tough times with schedule changes and competition from other shows, it still had a loyal fan base until the end. Even though it's been a while since it ended, people still love the show, and it's had a lasting impact on TV and how the American West is portrayed. Amidst the success of the show, there was a sad moment, the passing of actor Doug McClure's wife, Faye Brash, while season three was being filmed. This deeply affected everyone involved in making the show, showing the emotional side of the entertainment world. The episodes usually focused on daily life at a Wyoming cattle ranch in the late 1800s. They tackled themes like friendship, loyalty, and fairness, often showing characters dealing with tough decisions. People really liked how accurately the show depicted the Old West. They paid close attention to getting historical details right, like costumes and sets. The beautiful Wyoming scenery also made the show even more enjoyable for viewers. The Virginian wasn't just any old Western series. It became an important part of our culture, touching people of all ages. Its influence on TV history continues, leaving a lasting impression. Did you hear about that unforgettable episode where a beloved character met a tragic end? Fans were shocked and deeply saddened when he unexpectedly got killed off. The show touched on themes like loyalty, friendship, and justice, exploring the challenges folks faced in the Wild West. Characters often had to make tough decisions, torn between conflicting loyalties. The series was known for its realistic portrayal of frontier life, capturing the rugged beauty of the American West while showing the harsh realities of the time. Viewers were drawn to its authenticity and attention to detail, making it a hit with audiences. Even though it ended after a few seasons, the show's impact on TV and popular culture is clear. Its influence can still be seen in modern westerns and dramas, solidifying its place as a classic of the genre.